welcome back to the Caleb Hammer Reacts channel show. My name is Graham and I want to comment on this episode in particular because it's one of his most viewed videos ever in the history of his channel. Now for those who are unfamiliar, he basically goes through and does these financial audits of people where they submit bank statements and then Caleb goes and just absolutely roasts them. And it's like, you know, Dave Ramsey, when he talks about people, he's usually kind of polite. He could be, you know, a little rude at times. So Caleb Hammer just goes in on these people. Like, I feel bad for them. And this one in particular, it's just titled, 22 year old has the worst finances ever to be seen, which is uh, quite the statement to be made. But uh, how about this guys? Uh, keep watching, hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see just how bad this is as soon as you hit the like button and subscribe. So thanks so much. Now let's begin. My name is Joshua Fiore. I'm 22 and this is Financial Audit. San Antonio. Okay, so what do you do for a living in San Antonio? I actually have a job right now up in Austin. What's your job in Austin? Um, I'm just an Amazon delivery driver. Part of me wonders, it seems like it would be kind of a nice job to be uh, an Amazon delivery driver. I don't know, there's something about just like, I guess being outside, not being confined to an office, getting fresh air all the time, getting good exercise throughout the day. Like every Amazon driver that I've seen or talked to, they seem all really happy. Maybe it's a front though, maybe deep down, they're just like dying inside. But uh, I would like to believe they're happy. Everyone seems so friendly. At least the people that I met in Las Vegas. 45 hours a week at 18.50, is there overtime? Uh, yes. What's the overtime? Um, I think it's just time and a half. Uh, so you're probably making like 850 a week before uh, taxes? About roughly. It's not bad when you really think almost $30 an hour in overtime, it, it could be a lot worse. My first check came out to at least a thousand and a hundred um, after taxes. So how are you gonna live off of $2,200 a month? Well, I mean, I'll be getting about two checks a month. And two checks of $1,100 a month would be $2,200. I mean, yeah. <laughs> no matter how you divvy it up, you could be like, well, no, I can pay 22 times. Caleb's like, yeah, but they're only 100 times each. Well, I definitely want to talk about what you want to do in general to make money and like what the rest of your life looks like, but we'll get to that. Before we do that, just, you know, well, first of all, make sure you're subscribed as one of the first 50,000 subscribers here will win $1,000 if we haven't already hit that. So make sure you're subscribed. Look, this is an old video. One of the first 50,000 and now Caleb's at like almost 600,000. It goes to show you there's a huge audience to watch these types of videos, including myself. What does it come up mean to you? Just because you're making more money? Uh, just because I make more money and I'm going to be able to support myself again. And where were we at before? Staying with friends. For how long? Um, I would say pushing about eight months. So for eight months, you were just couch surfing around? Kind of, yeah. Ooh, those are good friends though. Those are good friends. Like for me, after like uh, maybe a week, I'd be like, yo, what, what are you doing, man? What, what's going on? Uh, <laughs> eight months, wow. Were your friends getting like annoyed of that or anything? Like, No, honestly, my friends loved me. Okay, they actually, good. They actually enjoyed having me around, which kind of kept me staying around longer. And hmm. me and my friends also just don't make good choices, so we would go out and drink, so I wouldn't save money, oh. but. Oh, uh, they're degens, just like him. But you know what, they're degens with a house. So, you know what though, here's the thing, if you get along with each other, and he's pulling his weight in the house, he's not like leaving messes everywhere, and he's putting in some work, you know, cleaning maybe a little bit, tidying up after himself, uh, you know, being an asset around the house, then you know what, I could see, I, I could see them not wanting him to leave. So if you were bartending and making money, why did you need to borrow money for this $300 a month essentially with your car bill and phone bill combined? Because I was making terrible choices. What were these terrible choices? I just went out and drank way too much. So just partying every single night? Yeah. Ugh. You know what the thing is, alcohol is such a huge waste of money when you really add up the costs, that's the restaurant's real profit right there. When you go out to eat, a lot of times with the food, the restaurant barely just breaks even. Like they'll make maybe five to 10% at the most on food. And when you really add up, like you get like a $30 meal, the restaurant's making $3 net profit on that. It's not much. The drinks on the other hand, they'll charge you $15 for a drink and probably $11 of that is profit. They really make the money in the drinks, but it goes to show you just how quickly that adds up. And just, it, it doesn't make sense to me. It never made sense to me. How a restaurant could charge you like 15 to $20 for a drink and you could go to the grocery store, buy the entire bottle of whatever alcohol it is, 
for like $15. For the same cost, you get the whole bo bottle versus just a drink. It's just, the ratios never really made sense to me, but it's a terrible choice to begin with. Big waste of money, and if he's going to go drink, I would just say, I would just say like, drink at home, but like, just make it yourself. My dad set me up on a credit card when I was a kid. Okay. So I just had amazing credit once I started out. The and only reason why I got an where? Apple card. I think it's at like a 500 something now. I was being very good with the card. I mean, everybody tells you not to pay off the full amount every month, but I was, and. What do you mean everyone tells you not to pay off the full amount on the credit card? There, there is this theory that says if you carry a small balance on a credit card, it helps improve your score. I don't know where this came from. I don't know who invented this and just said that's the way it is and people just ran with it. That's not the case at all. As long as you just make your payments on time in full, there you go. You have the same effect without paying any interest whatsoever. You do not need to carry a balance on a credit card to improve your credit score at all. So there, busted. There you go. I was kind of addicted to drinking. Really? Yeah. This was an actual time? Yeah, it's like when I was 20. So uh, two years ago? Yeah. Well, what was making you drink and go through these addictions? Um, you know what? It's just called being 21. That's it. This dude's 22 years old right now, and he's slowly being like, all right, I don't want to party all the time. It's just called being tw in your early 20s, honestly. Like, I, I knew so many people who just go out, like, four to five nights a week to drink themselves silly. But you know what? It's just like they grow out of it after a year or two. It's just, it seems pretty common. Why are you carrying around cash? Because my first check was paper, and I don't do mobile deposit on Chime because they made me wait up to a week or two to get my deposit once. Okay, well, it's time to switch checking accounts then. Yeah, come on. So many of these accounts now have uh, like early payments. So you deposit the check and then they make sure it's available immediately without like the two day holding period. There's no reason you should be waiting more than like a day or two maximum to have this paycheck clear. What phone do you have? Like an iPhone 10. iPhone 10 was like five years ago. I mean, I might have already paid off the phone bill. I met my, like so my phone. So 157, that's... That's I, not just coverage. I, I think I just have a high phone bill because I have like one of the highest, highest plans. Oh man, you know what? I got Boost Mobile. It's a prepaid plan. And I got to say $50 a month, best money ever spent. It's unlimited everything within the US for $50 a month. What's not to like about that? 50 bucks a month. I was paying like a hundred and, I think it was like 80 something dollars with T-Mobile a while ago. Why? Save the money. It's half the price. Do it. I don't know. I think there's some financing in there. This, it's kind of weird because 160 bucks is a lot for just a single line. Also, late fees. My only thought is that they're charging him insurance on the phone, which makes no sense. Like I've seen some insurance plans, like twenty dollars a month, where if you break or lose your phone, they'll pay for it. But it's a rip off. Don't do it. So many credit cards now have cell phone protection. As as long as you just put the cell phone payment on the credit card, you're protected with like I think it's like a two hundred dollar deductible or fifty dollar deductible, whatever it might be. Credit cards offer this for free as a service. Here, Lafond, uh, check in the box. Uber trip. I mean, cash apping out. Phoenix internet. Okay, you gotta have internet. Oh, but that was actually, oh, hmm, that was money in. And cash apping out again. The thing is, he's going out. He's being a 22 year old. The problem here is that he's going out and he can't afford it. If he had a good job, no one would look at him and be like, oh, you're going out too much and socializing. It's just because he, he has no money. Can't afford it. Oh, no, yeah, okay. We have monthly installments. So what's this $999 that you're monthly installing? There's $249 that you're monthly installing and $199 that you're monthly installing. Total finance, $1,447. Ooh, that's a lot. Apple online store. Why is he spending the money? He doesn't have it. It blows my mind. I never understood how people could spend money they don't have on, on frivolous stuff. Not even on necessities. Not even like... Oh man, I had this, you know, I needed new tires on my car because it was unsafe. I needed to buy food. It's just like frivolous stuff. Apple. So okay. Apple, Apple had a thing going on. If you want to get a product, they will have you pay over 12 months with no um, interest on it. But so I already have all of that paid off. That's that does not contribute to the debt. Hold on. <laughs> he fell for it. Apple sends these things. Oh, if you buy the MacBook Pro, no interest. I'm like, huh, just pay that off anyway. Then you don't pay interest on it. But come on. People fall for it. They do this, and they end up just buying it, even though they didn't need it, because no interest. Ugh. You are past due $1,133. Past due. Why are you not making your payments, at least minimum monthly payments on this? Can I don't have any money. 
Okay. And then he runs out of money. Some of these, by the way, they'll trick you. They say there's no interest on the first 12 months. Go and spend with us. Uh, you'll be happy and no interest because we're so kind. But guess what? If you don't pay off the entire amount in full, they charge you the full interest on the entire amount as a penalty. So you got to make sure the entire thing's paid off. Otherwise, you leave like $100 on there. Boom, you're charged with the full amount of interest. That's how they get you. In order for the past due to get that high, that means you must have been missing payments for a very long time. Very long time. I'd say maybe up to like a year. A year of not paying on your credit card? Oh, why is he doing that? A year. A year. And like, I don't get how he could go out and have a drink and know that he's paying 25% interest on a credit card. Do you look at what you're spending and like kind of at least track and understand what's being spent on? I mean, I used to do that, but I just, I just started living paycheck to paycheck and it was just kind of from there, I just made sure I had enough money to do what I wanted to or what I needed to do. Yeah, I just didn't care. You know what, it's easy. When you, when you have a credit card balance and it's just imaginary numbers on a screen, why would you care? You know, going out and having a good time with your, with your buddies, that's something you could tangibly see. When you go on a you know, computer screen, you see you know, imaginary numbers that just get bigger over time, you really can't conceptualize it until you gotta start paying it down. This is bad. I don't think we've seen someone do this with a credit card ever before. This is crazy. No, I used, I, used to be, I used to be very bad. When we're talking used to though, I mean, we're literally talking weeks ago. I used to. Last week I was pretty bad. This week though, pretty good. Let's look at this car thing. He opened it in 2021, so uh, late 2021, so it was just a year ago. It was like before your whole bumming off of people. 61 month term. That's why your payment's so low. 61 month term. Mm -hmm. Wow, a five year term on borrowing eight grand. Wow. I mean, that's the thing. He's he's extending these payments as long as humanly possible just to get the number low every month. And then he just pays a little bit, chips away at it, but the amount of interest he's accumulating on this loan is wild. 14 months you've had this have been past due. Eight of 14. No wonder, well, I can't wait to look at your credit. It has to be terrible. This is crazy. Number of times with inefficient funds, two. Number of past times due, eight. It's wild that people even loan money at this point. Like who would see him and be like, yeah, I try, I'm gonna give him an unsecured line of credit. That's a good idea. How? He is, but you know what the thing is? He's young enough, I hate to say it, okay? He is young enough, he could recover from this in a year or two. He puts his head down, uh, stops doing this crap. He could, he could, you know, move past this and be 30 and be totally fine. I drive a 2013 BMW Active Hybrid Series 5. Why'd you get a BMW? I loved it. And I got a, I got a good price on it too for it being a BMW. Are you sure? How do you know? I just do. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, if you got a good deal on it, I'm terrible for a good deal, okay? That, that, that's my trap I fall into. If I see something at a good value, I can't say no. Because if there's money to be made on that deal, like let's just say there's a widget. I don't need this widget at all. But, you know, it's worth 100 grand. And someone says, hey, you could buy this widget that you don't need at all for 20 grand. I'm probably going to buy it. Why? Because I know if I needed to sell it, I, I could make money on it. You know, then, then it's better than putting money in a widget than keeping it in a savings account if I can make more money on that. So th that's kind of the thing I do. The thing that is really tricking me up right now and why this feeling that I have isn't just like, okay, it's in the past, whatever. This past was weeks ago. Weeks ago. <laughs> and you know what? The past is the past, right? Technically, uh, the time I started this video is the past. So te technically, yeah, a week ago is the past. Credit age is great, and that's because of your, the thing you talked about with your dad. I mean, that's the best credit age I've ever seen for someone in their 20s. That's incredible, yeah, almost 10 years. You do have a Capital One credit card somewhere. Oh, so the third one is under my dad's, but I don't use it anymore. Okay. It's weird his dad's not, uh, you know, you know, laying down the law with him because it seems like if the dad had the foresight to put him on the dad's credit report to build his own credit, you think the dad would also say like, hey, son, don't do this. Stop. Uh, it's interesting. So with my Apple card, um, I had this bank and when my card was maxed out and I needed money, I spent 
Well, I paid off my card with money I didn't have in my bank account, and it went through, and I spent the money on the Apple card. Oh. So he's basically transferring debt from one to another. He's playing Russian roulette with, with credit cards at this point. He's being like, I'll put it over there. I'll move it to there. Move it to there. It's, just, it's, it's compounding it. It's like a Ponzi. Health insurance. Are you on your parents? Um, I lost it. Why? Because I'm based on the military, TRICARE. Once you're 21, you lose your health insurance. Uh. Unless if you go to college. Did you ever do college at all? No. Yeah, nothing. No. Okay. Oh, that's bad. Because the health insurance thing could be pretty expensive. You know, that could be a few hundred dollars a month extra on top of everything else. Normally, you're, you're covered until the age of, I think it's until you're 26. Your 26th birthday, get cut off. Till then, it's under your parents' plan. $300 a month is the max amount, amount of money you're allowed to spend on food. Okay. Or you're meal prepping, you're cooking food, uh, you can buy snacks and stuff like that, it's fine, but $300 is max. We do not go out to eat a single time. I feel like that's one of the biggest things for people, is just save money by not eating out. No restaurants, no buying drinks, just make food at home. I don't get why it's so difficult. Make food at home. It's cheaper, it's probably better for you, and if you want to go out with people, just don't order anything. This is like the biggest leading of stress for me has always been, honestly, I think life would just feel, I don't know, I just feel like I have something lifted off my shoulders. And it's about to get worse, too, that extra stress because it's going to be sold out to collections, then they are going to hound you. Yeah, or, you know what, the thing is, he's not bad enough to file for bankruptcy. Because he, he could dig himself out of this pretty easily with realistically, like, a year's worth of work. Just, just buckle down for a year. He's, he's got it easy compared to some people. I don't know if I could stick to it strictly because there's no point in lying on that. Um, mm -hmm. I will definitely make um, a lot more changes where this can be more doable, but I don't think I can't just have no fun. Uh, you know what? I, he's already, he's already kind of sealed his fate right there. Anytime someone says, oh, I'll try, I'll try, do my best. Now, they, they're already just making excuses before they've even started. You'll be working 12 to 14 hours a day. Does it suck? Absolutely. Does it suck worse to be in the situation you're in? Yes. Are you willing to work that much? To go crazy and pay all this off? I don't think so. Then I fear you don't realize how terrible, drastic, deadly this situation is. Why do people hate work so much? I always liked it. I always loved just the idea of being like really productive in a day, making more money and like doing something and getting better at it. Like I, I always liked that stuff, but I'm weird, okay? I'm not normal. Any final thoughts? Thanks for doing this. It was, I mean, it's, it's nice to see somebody else, somebody else put it all on paper and like see it in person. I don't know, it's just, it's easier to see it this way rather than me trying to do it myself. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna change. Uh, it seems like he's coming up with a lot of excuses. Doesn't really have that motivation to change. He might be chipping away at it for a little bit, but let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. If you have any other recommendations, by the way, for videos you want me to watch and react to, just comment with the title of the video uh, down below, and that way you can search for it. If you put links in there, it automatically gets blocked as spam. So just do the title of the video if you think it's good. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure to hit the like button. Feel free to add me on Instagram. And don't forget that you could get some free stocks down below in the description with a paid affiliate link down there. That could be worth all the way up to a few thousand dollars with like a few minutes of your time. So if you want that, again, the link is down below. Enjoy. Thank you so much. And until next time.